Let's do together a manage host and add it to our previous installation of the console. In the video description, you'll find a link that will take you to this page. So what we do is that we go to the Azure Marketplace. I'm already logged in there with my credentials. So I keep here continue. And as the instruction, we're going to be looking at the instruction and following them, following them alone. So, it's, so we're going to do get it now. So that's what we do. And in here is what we select. What is it that we want to do? Since we're going to be doing a manage host, this is the option we select. Previously, we select the console, and we're going to do a subsequent video with an app host as well to add your applications. So we click here, continue. And again, let's make sure that we are following. We're going to be doing create. And in here, you need to select a resource group, and this will be specific for your Azure account. A virtual machine is going to be J Bravo X MH. I call it MH2. I was playing before, so there was an MH1. The region, in my case, is US East which is the same one that we had for the Curator console. No redundancy, that's the image that we are installing, no assistant. In terms of the size, I'm leaving the size that is in here, but you can click here and change size and select the right size. In the documentation, there is this link that says system requirement for virtual appliances. If you're going to be deploying, uh, you know, uh, an event collector or whatever it is, it go for the suggested. Don't, don't, don't go into the minimum if you can avoid it, because you, you may want to make sure that if you have a problem, you are not going to be thinking that is because you did not give enough resources to it. So we are in here. We're going to be logging in as we did in the other video with the user ID and password. That's not the most secure way. SSH keys is the way to go. I did a video in the past how to show how to do that. So I'm going to call this J Bravo. You're going to call it just J Bravo MX. Uh, the password has to be 12 characters long. Okay. In terms of the ports, if you are working within the same region, you don't really need HTTPS, but I'm going to select it anyway. Then you click here, Review and Create. You click here, Create. And then this is going to take around 10 minutes. I'm going to pause the video until that completes. And let me see where we are in the instructions. We are right here. We're going to be doing this go to resource when that finishes. So that is done. The instruction call to go to resource and set the IP to static. So we're here, assign to static. So this IP, if we click in it, we'll see that is dynamic. Curator doesn't like dynamic IPs at all. So click there and make sure you click save, save icon. And then the instructions say click an overview. I don't know, actually, Assignment to static save. Yeah, click on overview. And here we have the other IP. If we click in it, no, actually, 
look at the instruction. I, I'm, I'm not following it right. It says, uh, click on associated to and the, and the link that is on the right. So this is associated to and you click here. This is the J Bravo XMH machine. So you click here. And then in IP configurations here on the left, you have This IP is dynamic, yes it is, and we need to set that one to static, again click on the save icon, and now in here, say click virtual machine, uh, the best way for me, to, and when I get disoriented in, in this installation is go here into home, and then we can go to the actual we here we have here all the virtual machines so we're going to go to that virtual machine and the instruction ask us to in here set up the networking and what you need to make sure I'm not going to do it here because this is just a demo but here on their networking you need to put the the firewall rules to make sure that only you know the curator IP of the console is the one that connects to this device and you know you need to tie up your security right now this is even have a public IP that everybody can actually hit and uh, that's not what you want to do in real life so again I'm not covering that that's uh, that should be your responsibility and that's what they highlight here in this section 9 so again if we go back to get my uh, virtual machine here it is well, actually that's the IP I want to get the to the actual virtual machine it is this one with that icon if I click connect I'm displaying here on the right with the information on how to do the SSH that was the user we selected the IP address the public IP address at 23 so I copied that to the clipboard I'm going to open a terminal let me clear this and I'm going to paste that yes when I log in with that long password we created before and we are inside now we need to at this particular point they want us to make sure that this uh, host name is not greater than 63 characters and I might be around because I put J Bravo MH and all that so it's actually run the command to see how long is the host name 63 so I'm at the border okay if it's more than that your installation will not uh, succeed now what we're going to be doing is we're going to decide what type of managed host we will have so the example calls here for the 1599 which is an event collector but you know whatever is the appliance you are deploying here you will select so let's stick with the 1599 so I go here to my terminal and I'm gonna do a 1599 appliance I hit enter it's asking me to put the password and this is going to proceed until it asks me to set a new password for it I'm going to pause the video until then it's asking me to set up that password a new password confirm that I'm 
and we are done. So notice that that password doesn't have to be as strong as the other one, but I, I just wanted to make it a strong password as well. Now we need to go back to our the console that we created in video number one and log in into it. If you don't remember what that was, always go to the home button and click on that virtual machine. It was this one. And uh, let's see what the public IP address is. It is, this is the public IP address. So I'm going to open another instance of my browser. I'm going to do HTTPS. H HTTPS. And paste that address. Sorry. One too many T's. Works better if I put it in the URL. And it's connecting to it. That's okay. It's saying that this is a bring your own license, which I haven't installed one for this demonstration. And now we need to click here on the admin tab. And go on the systems and license management. By default, you should be here on display system, not licenses. But if not, make sure you select that. And on deployment actions, you're going to add a host. Now, what this is going to be, you need to put the, the, the I, I'm assuming that you are doing the host and the manage host on the same region. Therefore, you're going to be using the static private IP address of your image. And you're going to put the password that you set up for that one and we're going to click add i don't remember what that was so i'm actually going to go here i'm going to go again always home virtual machines it is this one I'm going to look for the private ip address which is this one over here I'm going to go back to that screen. I'm going to paste that one there. I'm going to put the password that we set up for that one. It's asking us for the password twice. And nothing else. This network address translation is something that you will need to use. We need to create an ad group if you have the host and the uh, managed host in different regions. Then you use the public IP address, but you also need to get into this business of creating an ad uh, group. So that should be it. So this is gonna start doing the deployment. Uh, there's a small discrepancy here, it says deploy changes and the instruction reads for deploy full configuration, if I remember correctly, yeah. So it's always safer to do the deploy uh, the full configuration. And this should indicate you the, the different stages that the installation process is going through. So it's step one of two, so it's doing the contacting. And of course, you need to make sure when you are doing the networking aspect of this, that you have whitelisted this IP address. If you are particularly, if, uh, you know, make sure that only the uh, the curator console or is the one authorized to talk to here by virtue of the network. The, that's the IP address. So you need to tie up the, the the security of this. Of course, to make the video quicker, I'm not doing any of that. But keep that in mind that. This is uh, in the cloud, so you don't want this to be accessible to everybody. I'm going to post the video until this part finishes. Well, that took uh, quite a while. Now, in here, we should have the in the pull down. We do have 
the IP address of the uh, manage host that we just created and we are done now we have it in here right that event collector let's actually go ahead and deploy actions uh, and deploy the full configuration so instead of doing deploy configuration we're going to do a So, I don't see the option of either deploy changes or deploy full configuration here. It should be under advanced option, and that's probably because we added an event processor, and there's no any other an event uh, collector. No, it doesn't. There's no any uh, event processor. So, so you may get different results depending on the different appliances uh, that you add. It's not a bad idea to always do deploy changes, and the system will tell you whether it needs to deploy changes or not. If there's nothing to deploy, it will tell us here. Okay. It's always a good idea to do that step. So the installation is done already, the managed host. I just wanted to point this out. I went to my log activity and noticed these attempts of logging. They were unsuccessful because of the long password. But this is the caveats on the networking. You need to tie up your security of your of your appliances and environments on the cloud because, as you see, there are automated attacks already uh, coming from from China, trying to log in into that machine. They were not successful, but uh, again, a final point on it. Next video is going to be on the uh, app host.